This is the Ideal 61-657, and it's the NCVT with a flashlight. It's category four, it's a thousand volt rated, and it's from Ideal Industries. Have a close look at this. Out of its package, it does feature this pretty nice flashlight, which is a front facing flashlight. I'm just gonna demo that real quick. Just gonna press and give it a, press and hold there, and there goes the light. I'm just gonna cut the lights for a second, and, and I think it's pretty neat. Shutting off the flashlight, there is a high. 50 to 1,000 volts, and then the low is 12 to 1,000 volts. So it's a pretty nice range there. Inside the packaging, there is a certificate of conformance. There's also a handy booklet, and I'll go over it really quickly. Operation, your basic operation, and the pointers of each feature on the device. Operating features, NCV sensing indication table. I'll get that really close. Functions, indications, indication table, mechanical specifications. The two year warranty. Other ideal test instruments. It does say that it has a two meter drop protection. I'm not gonna drop that. The IP67 and the warning labels, barcode, and where it's made. It has an industrial overfolded grip, the lanyard tie off point. Speaking of that IP67, they do have a seal here, just so water won't get into the battery compartment. And just in case you're wondering, even threw in the batteries. This is one of those tamper resistant outlets. Let me get the ideal. I don't think it's perfect, but there's some sort of early indication that there is some voltage going on there. At least it at least it beeps, which is which is a good thing. The Volt Alert is a long-lasting, reliable, and trusted instrument by professionals. And there is one little thing I did pick up. And that's when you do sit it on my outlet. There is no alert until I make a slight little amount of pressure. And the same thing goes with the other end here. There's no pressure being applied until there goes your alert. It's a very minute amount of pressure. Not too much of a big difference, um, but when I do get my ideal voltage detector. And I do sit it on the outlet, it's already alerting. No pressure. What you want to try to avoid with these testers is having your index finger covered anywhere close to the area where you do the voltage detection. So if, you, if I have my finger here, it will not detect the wire until I remove my finger. And pretty much the same thing happens with the ID. I'm going to put my finger here. 
pretty close to the wire and nothing happens until so don't put your finger there i brought a little piece of nostalgia and this tester when it's on on red for for high you're able to determine which side is hot and which side is not now very interesting it's, it's very interesting how as you get closer it makes these slight little subtle beeps and as you get closer things start getting very rapid if you were to have this on blue for low then things start getting a little more subtle where you get a slight little subtle beep and as you get closer there's another step to it where the beep starts getting a little more rapid and it really starts alerting when you make contact if you're working in an office space or a library where things need to be quiet you can also be quiet by hitting that speaker button and it will deactivate the noise so when you do your testing it will be alerted by a light and you won't be a nuisance came across this item it's called the night eyes light holster stretch and it's a flashlight holster and interestingly enough it can it's a stretchable one it can stretch to fit AAA all the way up to size D battery flashlights it also shows a picture of an electrical panel as to kind of uh, hint the idea that maybe these things can also be used to be to to hold these and since this does happen to have a built-in flashlight uh, one would figure hey why not that's their information and if you want to check out their website it's listed right here let's see how it fits got this ideal crimper here just gonna cut this open just stretch right out of there It's got a, if you put this on your belt, clips on your belt, it also can do different positions. So if you, if you actually have your flashlight and you have it in your pouch, um, you can point it in the direction that you're, you're working on. Hence the packaging, what it shows here. You can see the person servicing this panel has it slightly slanted and actually have it pointed to the area that you're working on which is very interesting you can do that with your flashlight or your ideal voltage detector since it has a flashlight already on it let's try this thing out if you were skeptic and you thought that it was going to slip out from the bottom you could always get the clip and just put it on the side and catch it right here and now it's not going to go anywhere pretty nice this tester instrument is pretty clever with its extra features and it's pretty likable i like it and i hope you like this video comment subscribe Hit the bell and I'll keep making more content for you. Thanks for watching and until next time.